Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars, it's the review review. So I know it's been a little bit since I've actually done a review and whatnot and so on, so finally sitting down doing another review for you guys. Life's just been crazy hectic lately and hasn't gotten me where I wanted to do with reviews and whatnot, work and not having time off and so on and so forth. So I'm finally sitting down and doing another review for you guys, and this one's been highly requested and many people have asked me to do this one, so I'm finally sitting down and doing my review for you guys today of Jessica Simpson 10. So this is a brand new fragrance that launched this year 2015 and is Jessica's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th fragrance and is not the 10th anniversary of the Jessica Simpson fragrance collection. It's actually the 10th anniversary of the Jessica Simpson like clothing collection sort of thing. So, because it was really confusing because some people are like, this is her 10th anniversary perfume. And with it just being called 10, people thought maybe it was her 10th fragrance. It's the 8th fragrance, 10th anniversary of the Jessica Simpson collection. So, if we could get any more confusing, we did. So, this one is in the same bottle as the Jessica Simpson signature that came out last year. But this time is got a white feather on top and then this is kind of like a... I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of got this like um, incandescent raindrop. Like the bottle still looks like that raindrop like it did before, but it's almost got like this iridescentness to it. And can we seriously just talk about this production image that I took? So as you guys know, starting way back with Britney Spears' Intimate Fantasy, I've started doing my own production images for at least my perfume reviews. And this is probably my favorite Jessica Simpson or not my favorite, it's my favorite Jessica Simpson picture yet, because it's the only one I've done. It's probably my favorite one I've done so far, just because it's super pretty. Like, I, it took me a lot to get where I wanted with it, and I had kind of a vision where I wanted to go with it. And I just love, like, the softness of it, and the white, and, like, the feather. I mean, how it's kind of just super, like, elegant and posh, almost, if that makes sense. So, anyway, the box is like this. So, it says Jessica Simpson 10 here, and kind of this gold... Uh, box and then you've got the white feather that's carried over to the corner of the box with this kind of gold Frame going around the box My only issue with the box is I don't like how it's this cardboard color like to me. It looks like uh, Like a tester box because it's not super Elegant or pretty even though I kind of like it, but I kind of don't at the same time. It's weird It's hard to describe my true feelings with this. I just don't like the cardboard I wish it would have been kind of like a shinier thing and not this matte cardboard that it is the bottle, though, I really like the bottle. Um, I'm not sure if I like it more than I like the original uh, signature bottle, but I like the white and how it kind of stands out and makes it a little bit different. It's not something you normally see on a bottle, um, so it's definitely super cool to me. So, anyway, um, I should have pulled the notes up before I sat down to do this video. That would have been smart. Go me. I know where they're at, though. Okay, so anyway, but it looks like this. Now this time the notes are quite similar to the original Jessica Simpson, the, uh, the Jessica Simpson signature that came out last year, but it's actually a little bit different. So top notes are clementine, starfruit, nectarine, and plum with watery fruits. The middle notes are fragapani, um, night blooming jasmine, orange blossom, and tiger lily with base notes of vanilla, white chocolate, white chocolate bean, sorry, um, sandalwood, tonka bean, and driftwood. So, I'm just all unorganized today. Grab another sample card. Anyway, so this one, oh, and then when you pull the lid off, the, the sprayer is this kind of gold, bronzy color that is on the box. So, t with this, when you first spray it, I definitely get the clementine, the star fruit. The plum's not super prominent in my opinion. Plum's a note that's pretty well known to be a super prominent note, and I don't really smell it in this fragrance, um, but it does, it's there to kind of back up a little bit, but it's not like some other fragrances that have the plum in it that you can really tell that the plum is a juicy, deep note in there. Um, the whole fragrance is very light and very um, feminine, so there's no, like, some of the notes in here are a little bit of a heavier note, and they 
did it a right way so that it's not super heavy. Um, when you get into the middle of the Fragile Panty, the Night Bloomy Jasmine, the Orange Blossom, and the Tiger Lily. So you have a very floral heart with this fragrance. And you can definitely tell that this is kind of a more floral fruity scent than a fruity floral. Um, I definitely can get that Orange Blossom, the Jasmine. The Night Bloomy Jasmine is a little bit more of a like uh, deeper Jasmine. And it's a very, very nice note because it adds kind of that richness. But I don't know how they did this with putting so many heavy notes because Night Blooming Jasmine is another very heavy note. And this fragrance is not very heavy at all, which I do like. Um, I can get the Tiger Lily in there, but it's not like the most prominent uh, floral note throughout this entire fragrance. The base of white chocolate bean, um, sandalwood, tonka bean, um, vanilla, and driftwood. Every single Jessica Simpson fragrance has vanilla in it. She has set herself that's her favorite note to add in the fragrance, and she makes sure it's in every single fragrance. I get the sandalwood and the driftwood both a lot in this fragrance. They kind of add a nice woody ending to it. I get a little bit of the, the tonka bean, but tonka bean kind of has a vanilla aspect to it. So it kind of just adds more of a richness to the vanilla base. Um, and I definitely can get that white chocolate in there as well. But overall, I would say it's kind of a... Um, Slightly gourmand, um, woody base, if that makes sense. Um, overall, I would say this fragrance a little is quite mature. It's not super duper mature, but it is a little bit more mature and designer. And I feel like that's kind of where she's going with the whole Jessica Simpson signature collection. As last time, it was a little bit more designer as well. This one's a little bit more well-rounded, in my opinion, than Signature was. I like this one a lot more than I like Signature. I get where Signature was going with the fragrance, but in my opinion, this was what Signature should have been if everything was blended right and this is the notes that didn't work in Signature and they took those out and they took the notes that did work in Signature and made it a, a very good fragrance. Um, this is not my favorite Jessica Simpson fragrance. It's probably number two. Number one being uh, Fancy Girl. I love Fancy Girl. This one's number two definitely because I love, love, love this one. Um, it definitely beat out Fancy Love. As much as I love Fancy Love, it's not my favorite one any or second favorite anymore because Jessica Simpson 10 took over that. So, um, overall, I would say the top is a very, um, light, fruity opening with small notes of Clementine and Jasmine as, or Clementine and, um, Starfruit peeking out of with a little bit of a plum. Heart dries down to a very floral heart um, with the notes of Night Blooming Jasmine and Orange Blossom really standing out with the uh, Fragile Panty kind of peeking out as well. As you get to the base, it's definitely a warm, woody base with minor chocolate and vanilla ending that kind of just well rounds out the fragrance. But the florals are definitely the powerhouse of this fragrance and they kind of carry themselves throughout the entire fragrance. So, lasting power on this, I get about 8 hours on this and it's a very nice fragrance. I would recommend this for kind of like, um, evening wear, kind of. I wouldn't say this is a date night fragrance, um... But I definitely would say this is more like an evening type fragrance, like late afternoon type of thing. So like if you work second shift or whatever, this would be a good fragrance to wear to work. Because it's light and airy and it's not super offensive, so it's not going to offend anyone. But it's, um, I feel like it stands out more in the more like evening time and not so much the night time. So as always guys, thanks so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review of Jessica Simpson's 10. As always, guys, links are in below. Subscribe to me, or hit the down button down below and subscribe. Links are in the bottom for Twitter and Instagram, A to S Perfume on Instagram, or A to S Perfume on Twitter, and I'm on the Stars Perfume on Instagram. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.